Hi, how are you? What's up, beautiful? Did you know that nail clippers aren't just good for your nails? They're good for cutting your hair too. I honestly didn't know this. I was not aware. I feel embarrassed because I thought I knew a lot about hair and I didn't even know that you're supposed to use nail clippers to cut your hair. I'm open to trying things out. I like to experience things. Even if that thing is nail clippers for the hair. I don't know. Now that I think about it, maybe not. Man, well, okay, f it. So we're following Makara's nail clipping tutorial. Actually, it's probably not a tutorial. Let's see what the title is. It says, cut your hair with toenail clippers. I mean, mine aren't specifically toenail clippers, but is this only supposed to be used for your toes? We don't really need to talk about that today, but um, she's gonna cut her hair with toenail clippers. My first question is why? My second question is why not? Um, my third question is why don't you just use scissors? My fourth question is, I don't think I have a fourth question, but I'm interested to see what goes on in this video. I feel like I also chose the perfect day to do this because I am so f tired and so f cranky. And that is probably because I know that I have to do an entire head, an entire haircut with this little tiny one centimeter gap. Why do I f do this to myself? Please work though. I wanna learn from the best. And today, Makara is my teacher. Let's watch the video. Let me pull my computer in. I think too many people try to cut their hair too quickly with those huge butt chunky scissors. I mean, look how big that mouth is. Look how much hair fits in there. You can't help but cut a big amount. These are what you're supposed to cut your hair with. Not those. Those are still not the right tool. These are hair cutting scissors, okay? Let's get that straight. The solution? Obviously toenail clippers. Listen, I like the idea. I like that she doesn't trust herself enough to use real scissors because they're too long and wide and whatever it may be. This is the alternative, this? All right, my client just got here, so let me grab her. Oh, hi, how are you? Yes, okay, you're gonna actually get your hair cut with nail clippers today. You don't want to. Okay, well, <laughs> you're gonna come with me anyways. You're gonna get your hair cut with nail clippers. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Let's just shh. She said she's so excited to be here. Thanks for coming. Take all the hair and throw it in the back. Take tiny pieces of hair one by one. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. This is gonna be the most grueling experience of your life. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. But we must for YouTube. This is the piece we like the length of. So we're just gonna match all the other little pieces to that length. Okay, weird technique, but I'm sort of feeling it. I don't really get it, but it's okay. Like we can't just visually look at it. You don't think we can just look at this and know like where it's supposed to be? I mean, listen, I am not the teacher today. I am the studente and I will exceed at being the student and I will be a good listener. Okay, work. So this is the length I like. So we're gonna put that on it. I feel like I did that right. We're just going for it. Now might be a fun time to share that I did post a picture of the finished product to Instagram already. Okay, I quit. <laughs> I don't wanna do this video anymore. I'll do the video. I'll do it. <clears throat> um, okay, so. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Whenever I say okay a lot, it means that I really just don't wanna do something and I just gotta force myself to do it. So I just say, okay, 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 because I think something's gonna come after the okay, but nothing ever does. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, stop saying okay. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oof, okay. Oh my God, I'm not speaking. So that's the first shot. As Makara said, 999,560 more times of that to go until it's done. Luckily, these, these are really sharp. This is actually kind of hard. And honestly, she made it look easier than it was. 100%. What the f***? I am going to really try and do this. And the other thing I want to try and do is like do it maybe more than she did. Ooh, okay, fierce. Why does it look good? So let me talk about what we're doing here. And honestly, is Makara onto something? Maybe my opinion on this would be actually that it's kind of smart in a weird, awkward, sort of not the smartest type of way. I don't hate it. I know you probably thought I was gonna say, I hate this, like this is stupid as hell, which usually I would. I like the link. There's definitely a lot of pieces in here that I'm missing. So the benefits of doing this this way is probably gonna be that you are just taking some very small pieces and kind of just matching it to the piece next to it, which honestly, she was onto something. Because usually when people use really big scissors to do something like this, you're gonna end up with taking way too much hair at a time and making a huge mistake all at once. This way, you only make small mistakes that can probably be fixed. Where 
we're definitely getting a lot of texture and a lot of movement here because we are doing little chop chop chops all around the head i can't believe i'm actually cutting hair with nail clippers it's getting harder i must say i'm getting frustrated <laughs> Calm down. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, I can do it. I'm feeling better now. I was just having a moment. Um, I'm still upset. I don't think it's going to be even because I'm cutting the hair. Kind of just eyeballing it. It is seriously not as easy as it looks. This little instrument right here is extremely hard to cut with. I mean, this one's really sharp. It's supposed to be like extra sharp. It's still not even cutting through the hair, which is weird because your nails are much sharper than this. So I don't know why we're having a hard time, but it's not great. Um, we're not doing awesome. I'll check back with you in like a few minutes once I make a little more progress here. Oh, oh, oh. why does it look so straight on camera though? Oh no, no. So this isn't looking like amazing. It's looking a little, um, Choppy. Is there any other techniques in this video that I'm missing? Like we need to go back and watch her video a little bit more, I think. I feel like I'm missing something. Come here, computer. Get over here, get your over here. <laughs> Ooh, I did this balayage like a really long time ago and I'm still just like gagged by how pretty it is. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I'm just full of myself, I guess. Another thing I like about doing every teeny tiny microscopic clump of hair individually. Tell me. Really gives you a lot of texture. Listen, she said it. I said it, she said it. It gives you texture and it's giving share at the same time. It's giving share. Okay, I think I've discovered a new method. Thank God, we have a method. We have a new method, ladies and gentlemen. Take the tiny piece of hair and before you clip it, sort of twist it and then trim. <laughs> that was the thing. Oh, I thought you were gonna make this so much fucking easier for me. I really did. I was like, yes, and I got nothing. <laughs> Going. I do, however, feel a little bit like oh, my years of professional experience has led up to this point. You're only as good as your nail clipper haircut, they said. I want to prove to my cosmetology teacher that I can do it and I won't give up and I won't settle for anything less than perfect is what I won't do. I mean, it doesn't look perfect. But you know what? Perfection is in the eye of the beholder. Is that what they say? I don't know if anybody's ever said that, but I did. That counts for something, right? Oh, this looks awful. I take everything back that I said before. As I make my way around here, I want to try something that she didn't do. I know. Why am I going to torture myself more than I already have? I don't know. Cause it's my job, I guess. I don't know. It's really not like, I guess it is my job. You know, I'm here to just make myself go fucking crazy. It's like oddly a look. I want to put layers in the hair because I just, I feel like this, I feel like I could, <laughs> I could make myself go crazier. Am I getting lazy with it? Absolutely yes. And do I care? No. Don't you talk back to me, okay? I'm paying you good money to be here, okay? A lot of people would want to be you right now, you know? I'm sure there'd be plenty of people watching that would want to get their hair cut by me with um, nail clippers. If you would like to get your hair cut by me with nail clippers, sign up down below with the link. I'll be coming to your city next. I am not gonna lie though, I am going in. I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. It's really bad. On camera, it looks like kind of good, but I swear to God, in real life, it looks so bad. And if you're a kid watching and, you're, and your parents like took away the scissors from you because you cut your hair too much, I'm just telling you, you didn't hear from me, but you can cut your hair with clippers. I'm gonna not lie though, Makara. Um, there is definitely easier techniques here. It's actually just one thing and it's called a razor, not the one you shave with. There are hair razors. It'll give you the same kind of concept of like not wanting to cut too much hair at the same time and you know, all that, but it's a lot easier than doing this. Um, so if next time you wanna do that, I would fully support it. I love if I'm talking to her like she's watching. Like, I don't even know who's watching, but hi. I'm Brad. I own my own hair care line and color line and um, I cut hair with clippers for a job. How's your day going? Okay, this is the hard part. How do you make them even? I want to not be living right now, like the second, just because this is like absolute torture. I'm just hacking this head. I've completed step one. Well, I mean, her steps are done, but here's the reveal. 
Okay, I mean, it's even. I did it. I nail clipped an entire head. Uh, uh. There's nothing I can't do at this point. Like, there's not. You can't tell me otherwise. Like, that doesn't look good. So don't try this um, because there are definitely like longer pieces and then it's like longer underneath here. But I followed the tutorial. You can't yell at me. You just can't. It's time that I take a chance in life. I'm giving her shorter bangs. It'll be cute. And also, I'm thinking, shall I try to do layers? No, I shouldn't do that. You know what I will? I will try and do layers with these. I'm gonna try and give her an actual good haircut. I feel like it sounds fun. We're gonna use an um, amazing technique. Honestly though, this technique is kind of fierce. I am going to pull her hair up into a ponytail and attempt to give her layers this way. You know I can't give her layers any other way. Like I'm not about to pull up section by section and try to cut it with nail clippers. Like that's just not happening. She has the softest hair I've ever felt in my life, but that is besides the point. So we are going to put this in here and we're just gonna cut it. The technique is just not available today. So don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm making it up. I'm just gonna cut straight across. It's gonna give her some sort of layers. Probably not great ones. None of this is gonna be great. Let's just submit it. Oh no, I lost my guide. Oh, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. I can stop now, right? I don't have to keep going. <gasps> Did I just cut her bangs? Oh, focus, Brad. You can't see what I'm doing right now and I don't care. This is not about you anymore. This is for me to be satisfied and happy with the results that I get. <laughs> Oh, please don't cut yourself, Brad. Okay, I gave her layers. Let's see the results. Oh, I'm kind of excited about this one. Wait, 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 wait. Don't get excited yet. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Why does this look so good? Look at the layers. Look at, look at, look. Oh, 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 hell yes. I'm scared of myself right now. Check it out and take a time out. Okay, I'm done. All right. I'm safe to come back, right? Last and final step um, is to give her shorter bangs because that's what she wanted. Oh, and maybe some face framing layers. That was a not a face frame. That's a bang. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, it's fine. It's savable, right? I need to take smaller pieces at a time, Brad. Oh no. I mean, I act like it wasn't already messed up. Like it doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, this is hard. You can't like maneuver and you can't see what you're doing at the same time. I gave her like steps on this side. <gasps> oh my God, this is so bad. Um, let's just give you bangs. <laughs> what kind of bangs do you want? Okay, I'm not gonna give you those. I'm gonna give you like short front bangs, like just a fringe. Oh, and that was not great. Oh my God, this is so difficult to cut with these. Oh, let me just tell you guys, like you don't know what you're doing because you have to like hold the hair and pull it straight and then it just like comes right back up. It's just all around difficult and these just don't cut well. I mean, listen, she's gonna look edgy. She looks like a Barbie doll that's been like cut by some kid. This is like where I should stop <laughs> because I can feel myself giving up and I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. And this is just the point where you're supposed to be like, okay, Brad, like put down the clipper. Okay, please don't make fun of me. <sighs> Oh no, it's worse in the camera than I than it is in real life. I actually am scared to go to bed tonight. I feel like Miss Manny Quinn's going to wake me up and stab me. Please don't do that. I'm sorry and I will fix your hair. The bangs really went wrong. It was the hardest part of the whole thing was doing the bangs because you can't like do anything except like go straight across. It just really doesn't look good. They're also too short, so that's my fault. I'm sorry. But um, I'm kind of sad that her hair looks like shit now because she was my favorite hair mannequin and I loved her color, but now her color looks like ugly. It's okay, it's still fixable. Thank you for being my friend and thank you for coming in today to the salon. We will not be refunding anybody at this time, but you may go now. I will give you your check when you're off set, okay? Yes, I will pay you. Yes, okay, um, okay, okay. She's fing crazy. Okay, so here's the thing. I am scarred by this experience. I never want to see these again. I think I'm gonna just have to use a nail file from now on. I don't just don't want to use these again. Like that was just so much of my life consumed by that haircut with these tiny things. Thank you, but no thank you. I will be sticking to using scissors from now on. Um, Makara, I don't know how you did that. Yours kind of came out good. Like here's her finished result and then here's mine. Please don't judge that haircut. Honestly, that was way harder than it looks and I'm not even gonna tell you that I would do a better job if I took more time. Like it actually was very difficult and extremely different from using these things. So don't come for me. Thank you for that. Uh, I hated it and never doing it again. Uh, if you'd like to follow me anywhere else, you can do so. Here are my handles. Um, and uh, I have also a hair care brand and a hair color brand. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. See you later.